Cats are so common in Singapore, so much so in certain neighbourhoods, strays are fondly referred to as community cats. But for more than three decades, cats have been banned in Singapore's public housing, known as HDB flats, where 77% of the resident population lives. The ban isn't actively enforced, but offenders who are caught could be fined up to $4,000. That's just over 3000 US. There's now a proposal to allow up to two cats per HDB home, which would be a major change in policy for Singapore. So why were cats banned in the first place back in 1989? Louis Ng, a member of parliament and longtime champion of animal causes, explains. One is that they're difficult to contain in the HDB flats. Uh, two, uh, they shed fur. Uh, three, they defecate so they pee and they poo. And lastly, they make caterwauling sounds. You can see the issue really makes the claws come out. But certain sizes and breeds of dogs are allowed as pets in HDB homes, as long as they're licensed by the Animal and Veterinary Service. So is there a double standard at play? A lot of the things, uh, concerns we're hearing about cats are very similar to dogs. Some of the dogs, the owners leave the door open, they roam outside as well, they pee, they poo everywhere, they bark. But a lot of times these cats are actually used as collaterals. A lot of neighbourly disputes, actually neighbours might not be concerned about the cats but they use it as collaterals in, in the neighbourly dispute and report it to HDB. It is about finding the middle ground and ensuring that neighbours can live uh, together harmoniously and addressing each other's concerns. In any case, many people living in HDB homes already have cats. So when do you get into trouble for having one? Typically, action is taken against flat owners only if there are complaints of their pet cat causing a nuisance. So you could expect fewer catty complaints from neighbours if the rule change to allow up to two cats per flat goes through. Cat lovers say this rule review and introduction of guidelines is a long time coming. So many are relieved that we've finally reviewed this policy and reversed our decision hopefully next year to allow the keeping of cats in HDB flats. Because really, it's a policy that just doesn't make sense. It gives us a way to clarify to everybody what responsible cat ownership is. And when we have this clear demarcation, you also have in place a penalty system to reduce the irresponsible cat ownership and maintain like a very conducive, conscientious environment for everybody involved. Under the proposal, pet cats must be licensed and microchipped. Owners will have a two-year transition period to comply. During this time, pet cat licenses will be issued free of charge. I think in the case of cat ownership, it really takes two hands to clap. So one, obviously, the, the government has changed the policy. It's about to change it next year. Uh, but two, it really needs both cat owners and neighbours to coexist to make sure each other understand what each other's concerns are. If there aren't strong objections from a public consultation, the intention is to implement the changes in the later part of 2024. Under the proposal, those who already have more than two cats can apply to license and keep them. Authorities are also looking into helping cat fosterers who may exceed the proposed limits. All first-time license applicants will also have to complete a one-time free online pet ownership course. Responsible cat ownership is this concept that sounds very fancy, but it's actually really basic. Responsible cat ownership refers to um, a set of guidelines that helps ensure that you can keep your cat in your home responsibly without causing disamenities to your neighbours. It also um, focuses on the welfare of the cat itself. If you own a cat or plan to get one, here's what you need to know and do. so that there is some accountability. If we find a cat outside, like now for example, you wouldn't really wouldn't know whose cat this is. And it's hard to trace back and, and perhaps enforce uh, the rule of no peeing and pooing in, in the public area, you must clean up after that. But if the cats are microchipped, then there's some traceability and there's some ownership in, in that sense. 
This means um, cat proofing in the form of let's say grilling or meshing your windows to prevent any sort of accidental falls. Um, ensuring that your gate is meshed so that the cat cannot dash out and then get into trouble outside. Ensuring that the cat is sterilized for the obvious health benefits and ensuring you know, that there is no caterwauling or um, this, this indiscriminate roaming that has actually been cited by HDB right, as part of its ban. Because ultimately, responsible cat ownership is not just about um, respecting that we live in a communal space, it's also about ensuring the best for your pet cats.